Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the ninth. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. This could happen at any time. Do apologize for the audio. I'm going to be putting up padding here shortly um, and getting a rug for the room, so that'll help with the echo. Uh, but I've only been here a week, so please bear with me as I'm going through this transition. Uh, so what do we have for a message today? I did open up private readings again for a minute. If you want one of those, the link is in the description box. And the week aheads for this week, that there's a playlist for those. What do we have for a message today? The sun card. So the sun card is a new beginning. It's a breakthrough. It's a new day. Uh, this is some sort of enlightenment, happiness. The day starts out bright. You know, it starts out as a bright, happy day by the looks of things. Um, yeah, I mean, that's happiness. Warmth. Growth. Six of Swords. Now the Six of obviously this is stormy weather. Completely the opposite in the past. So there's been some stormy weather. There's been some sort of uh, trouble, but this is getting out of trouble. You know, th there's this is trouble. Uh, it looks like we have an escape here. Somebody is escaping some escaping. You know, a sinking ship by the looks of things. There is some sort of growth that is happening. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. Um, this is getting out of a situation. It is. So somebody is, is obviously in a bad situation or they've been in a bad situation. Things are going to get better. Okay, things are definitely going to get better. The storm, if you think about it, you go, from, you go from stormy weather to beautiful, you know, a beautiful day. So this is, this is things getting better. It's, it's like the storm will end. Okay, tomorrow is a new day. Temperance reverse. Now, temperance reverse is an imbalance. It's negative patterns, repeating negative patterns. Um, going overboard, going to extremes. So I'm wondering what is going on. Now this is happiness. This is enlightenment. This is going to extremes. So what is this temperance card reverse? This is going overboard. It's interesting because I mentioned a ship here. And it does look like there's a ship in the background that's sinking and somebody must have jumped overboard. You know? Um, they must have. You know? It looks like Anyhow, so I do feel like there's been some stormy weather, and there, or there still could be some stormy weather. Somebody's obviously about to become enlightened in a very positive way. This is, this is a card of positivity and growth. Frustrated. Somebody's frustrated. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. That's independence, enjoying enjoying life. Somebody's going to go from uh, an imbalance to stability of some sort because this the Nine of Pentacles is stable, solid, secure, self sufficient. This is an ind independent person who is strong and capable of success. But there's been some sort of uh, I don't know, maybe it's ungroundedness. It could be ungroundedness. It could be too too emotional, unable to master emotions. You know, it's obviously it's been emotional. Somebody has been in a situation or they, they are in it right now where there's some sort of turbulence by the looks of things. Um, but things are going to get better because this is about stability. And that one is, is happiness and things, and things getting better. So things are going to get better. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very capable of success. This is a hard worker that puts in a lot of effort to build abundance. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. So, this is somebody that knows their value, that works hard. This is a valuable person that has some sort of life experience and doesn't quit. This is not a quitter. So, we have somebody here that is going to be receiving something because... 
uh, some sort of payout or reward for the hard work that they have done. Mm, but this is a problem. That temperance reverse is a problem. Going to extremes. Somebody has been going to extremes. They've been going extremely overboard. They need to take action to stabilize themselves. I do apologize for that. <laughs> um, I'm going to get window things, but I haven't gotten them yet. Anyhow. King of Swords reversed. So this is somebody that, this is an abuse of power. Somebody has abused their power. This is an abusive individual. Or somebody has been using logic over their heart and they're extremely frustrated. Somebody may be frustrated over another person's uh, security, another person's gain. Somebody's, because this is somebody who has gained stability and security. Uh, through hard work. This is somebody, I feel like this is angry. We may have somebody here that is angry. They are upset. They are wanting some sort of power, maybe feeling powerless. Um, the King of Swords in reverse is somebody that is tip it could be abusive, mentally abusive, verbally abusive. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is upset. I do. I feel like we have somebody that is upset over somebody's Positive, and this could be a departure. The Six of Swords is a departure. There may have been a departure in the past. Now we have somebody that is growing, that is happy, is independent and single and doing quite well. And I feel like we have somebody else that is, is angry, very, very angry over this person's success. So it's interesting because the Six of Swords is going to a better place. It is escaping, you know, the sinking ship. It's like, I'm getting out of here before I die in this situation so i feel like that's what's happened somebody has left the situation they're happy you know they're they're i feel like we have an independent person here for some of you that is very independent and doing quite well uh, but we have somebody here that is is very frustrated by by this other person's success that's what i see anyhow uh the king of swords in reverse is somebody that is ruthless could be, we could have a liar here that is going to extremes. You know, the King of Swords in reverse, somebody that may, may not tell the truth. Um, especially next to that Temperance card, reverse. This is somebody that is repeating negative patterns that um, is unbalanced. This person is unbalanced. They aren't grounded. You know, they're too emotional. Yes. We have somebody here that is too emotional and they're feeling, they're in their feelings. They're not managing their feelings well. They're not managing their feelings well. Um, so somebody's not managing their feelings well. They're, they're, they're looking at a person that is very stable and solid and secure. And they're looking at this person's happiness. And I feel like they're not, they're angry about it. You know, they're frustrated over the whole situation. Ooh, the narcissist. So the emperor in reverse. So the emperor in reverse is a tyrant. Definitely angry. This is somebody that deserts you in the time of need. This is somebody that is corrupt, that uh, may do things illegally. This is somebody that is above the law. They may feel like they're above the law. They don't follow directions. They don't take orders from anybody. This is somebody that is very controlling. Um, we have, this could be a father energy, could be a boss, could be a husband, could be an ex, could be anybody. This is somebody that is not very experienced, but may say that they're experienced. This person is definitely angry. They are angry. Um, they want, they've lost some power. Somebody has lost their power. They have, they've lost control and they want it back. And, and I feel like they're going to do something extreme. It may involve some lies because of that King of Swords reverse. That is somebody that, that you know, um, is hostile. It's somebody that is hostile, that is obviously angry and upset, that may do something that is um, untrue. It feels like it's not, they may, you know, this is somebody that you can't trust, somebody that is dishonest. Anyhow, the Emperor in reverse. A very cold and uncaring individual here with the King of Swords reverse and the Emperor reverse. This is somebody that is... Uh, not being very logical. They're not being very logical. They're in their emotions and they can't master their emotions at all with, with the uh, temperance reverse next to these two cards. This is somebody that is very ungrounded. 
and they are not happy about somebody's success. But anyhow, the emperor in reverse, uh, angry. This is somebody that is angry, definitely angry. Um, ooh, ace of swords, not ace of swords, we have a knife here. So I'm not sure what we're dealing with, but anyhow, the Ace of Swords, this is the truth. This is this is taking a new approach. Somebody's going to be taking a new approach. They're going to be doing something because they're angry. They're angry and they're going to do something. Um, and I feel like they, for some of you, this person could say something that is untrue. Um, if they do say something that is untrue, untrue, there's nothing to worry about because that sun card is here and that is enlightenment. That's clarity. That's seeing very clearly what the truth is. That's seeing very clearly that somebody is stable and solid and secure. So if we have somebody here that is angry and upset and they're acting um, because they're angry, they're act this is anger. It is definitely anger and they, they're trying to control a situation and this is clarity and this is clarity. It will be seen very clear clearly. It will. It will. So there's, there's nothing to worry about. Whoever this person is that is going overboard, that is going to extremes uh, and is angry, they may do something you know, out of their anger, but it won't, it won't, uh, it won't go anywhere. It won't go anywhere because there's enlightenment, there's truth, there's reality, there's, there's clarity. Okay. Um, we have somebody that's going to communicate something or they're going to do something. Okay. They're going to communicate something or they're going to do something out of anger. Okay. Just, just saying, um, this is negative. This is somebody that isn't learning from their mistakes with the temperance card reversed. They don't realize that everything happens for a purpose. This is somebody that is in their ego and they want control. And it's all about being in control. So this is right here, okay? This is somebody that wants control. So they're, they're willing to do whatever it takes. So uh, there is some sort of... Uh, information that is going to come out in regards to a person that is angry and upset as well this person this person may um let's see what's going on with this emperor in reverse Can't master emotions at all. Could be drinking. We. Uh, this is somebody that is emotionally uh, unbalanced. Very emotionally unbalanced. This is somebody that is feeling rejected. Uh, that that uh, uh, is feeling unloved, or they're, they're or they're emotionally unavailable. This is somebody that. Uh, I don't know. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to definitely act out of their emotions. Um, bad news. This is bad news that is coming. There is some sort of bad news that is coming. Uh, we have somebody here that is... I don't know. There could even be some tears that are shed. There could be some tears that are shed. The, there could be... This is somebody that has no staying power. That is uh, very, very emotional. Can't, can't, can't master emotions at all. There's going to be an. Em I feel like there's an emotion. I don't need the tower or the chariot. I think we have an emotional outburst ahead, based on anger. We have somebody here that is losing control. They want control. Uh, they're all in their emotions. Um, they're going overboard. They could be drinking or doing drugs. Uh, because the, this is this is addictions. This is drinking. This is you know. I'm not sure what is going on. This is a go, breaking the law. I don't know if somebody is going to be breaking the law because they're angry. Uh, they're very 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 angry. And but somebody could be put in a stable situation. You know, you got to think about this. Sometimes when people get involved with the law. You know, sometimes a law will force that person to stabilize in a way that they would not accept. Anyhow, um, we 
We do have a new beginning here with that sun card. That is a new beginning. There it is. So we do have a new beginning. So there is, uh, there is a new beginning. Somebody may be getting in trouble. I think, I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I did. Remember I said that Six of Swords at the beginning is about trouble? I, it is trouble. And this is getting out of trouble. So somebody may be, I don't know, somebody may, may be getting themselves into trouble. They may be getting themselves into trouble because they can't master their emotions and they're angry and they're upset, you know, and they may, uh, I don't know, maybe they're going to be, seven of wands, they're going to be trying, somebody, there's going to be a fight, they're going to be defend, they're, somebody's going to want to defend themselves. Uh, somebody's going to be put in a position where they where they feel or they are in a position where they think that they need to fight there's going to be a battle here there is definitely going to be a battle this is a strong competition we have somebody here that is uh, not wanting to give up not wanting to give up a fight and it feels like they're going to be up against too many it feels like they're going to be up against too many or they are up against too many. And that's why they can't master their emotions, you know, because they're angry and they're upset, you know. So we have somebody here that's angry and upset and they need to, it feels like they need to remove themselves from the situation instead of fighting. You know, this is somebody who is choosing to fight. They're still far enough to, far enough to away to turn around and walk away or to just to give up, you know, or surrender. But we got somebody here that is unwilling to, you know, stop. Anyhow, um, we have somebody here who wants to fight. And they may be feeling like they're under attack. They may be feeling like they're criticized or they're being criticized and they're feeling like they're under attack. And that's why they're feeling so defensive. We definitely have somebody here that is on the defensive. They are on the defensive and they're feeling uh, unbalanced, you know, they can't, they can't master their emotions at all. So I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to escape a dark situation, but they're going about it the wrong way. They're going about it the wrong way. Definitely. Definitely. Um, the, you know, the sun card can be seeing the light. So somebody may be seeing the light. They may be becoming enlightened because of something that comes out, you know, this could be an awakening, this could be some sort of truth, it could, it could be an awakening, it could be an epiphany, it could be a new thought, a new idea, okay, somebody could get a new point of view, you know, sharp, knives have points on them, swords have, somebody could get a new point of view, um, there is, there is going to be some sort of awakening or enlightenment that is coming for an individual that is angry and upset and wanting to fight. And it feels like they want to fight their emotions, right? Or they want to fight the truth or something like that. Or they want to fight what their heart wants, you know, because of that, this, this uh, page of cups reverse. So I feel like we have somebody here that isn't honoring their heart, you know. They, they, it feels like they're just not following their heart. They're not following their intuition, you know. They're in their ego. The emperor reverse is somebody that's in their ego. They just want control. So if this is a bubble being burst, it really is somebody's bubble. Is, this, this arrogant individual is about to get their bubble burst. If they haven't already, they may have. They may have already gotten their bubble burst. And that's why, and I think they probably have now that I've said it. I think this person has already gotten their bubble burst. And now they've lost control. You know, it's kind of like that narcissist who, when they lose control, when they really, really, really lose control, when somebody, you know, that's when they decide they got to do something about it. Anyhow, so I do feel like we have somebody here that is very angry. This is somebody that has deserted you in the time of need, and now they're feeling unbalanced. Now they're feeling off with that temperance reversed. You know, they're feeling like... Oh, they don't want to let go because what comes before temperance is death. They don't want to let go. They didn't. They don't really want it to end, you know. But there's some sort of addiction or going overboard that has caused whatever has happened. Anyhow, um, there is stability to be had. We have somebody here that is very 
self-sufficient, that is very capable of success. And it's going to be seen very, very clearly. But whoever this person is that is successful and self-sufficient and abundant and is very valuable and has a lot to offer is up against some sort of competition. I mean, it is. It's like, gotta fight, gotta fight, gotta fight constantly. It's a constant freaking battle. It's sickening. Anyhow, um, but we have a liar here. We have somebody here that lies. We have somebody that doesn't tell the truth, and the truth is clear. Very clear. So there is some sort of clarity or truth or information that is coming out or it is something is happening in regards to this arrogant individual who is losing control. Looks like there's going to be some chaos. There could be some upheaval. There could be a fight, okay, that wakes somebody up. Or somebody has left. They've escaped. They've removed themselves from a situation, obviously. And that's what is calling calm. It's Mercury retrograde, so bear with me. That is what is causing the imbalance that's what's causing the offness within this person we got somebody here that is all over the place they're all over the place because they can't function it's like they can't function having a very hard time but there is some sort of enlightenment coming there is clarity is coming or truth is coming out Taking a new approach. Awakening. Somebody's about to get an awakening. A wake-up call. Good luck.